Hey up everybody, I'm on part two of my nameplates, uh, take a look back at part one if you want to catch up. I've just cleaned these uh, base plates up I've made and what I'm going to do now then I'm going to attempt at soldering my letters onto the base plates, getting the holes drilled for fixing and um, paint, the, paint the relief in black. So watch this space then and we'll have a look at this. Right, my plan is to tin all the letters with a layer of solder and then put them on the backing plate. Somehow I've got to clamp them down, I don't know how yet. Uh, and then just heat, heat all the plate up and let, let them stick to plate. So I'm just going to tin one of these letters and then con I'll show you how I do one and then I'll continue with the rest. I've cleaned them up well, degreased them, put some flux on. And I'm just using regular solder. That's one done. Just 13 more to do. Remember, you only want flux where you want the solder to go. If you put it anywhere else, it'll follow the flux. Okay, then I've got all the letters tin now. Um, what I've devised, I've been thinking about this for a while, I've cut a strip of aluminium, because aluminium doesn't stick to solder. I'm going to use it as a clamp in the two holes that I've drilled. And because the letters with the solder on are a bit uneven, the, the thickness of solder, I've made this thin so I can put three clamps on and clamp it in three places and that will hopefully grip all the letters while I just heat it up and sweat those letters onto the backing plate. So watch this space then and we'll see if it's going to work. Right then, has anybody worked the name out from the jumbled up letters that I've shown you? Well here's a dictionary meaning and that'll make it become more apparent. Right, so I've called it Scratch. I thought it were appropriate because I've built it from scratch out of all ad hoc materials at my workshop, etc, etc. Now, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to clamp this aluminium fixing bar across across the letters because the letters are uneven it's not quite gripping so I'm going to put three clamps on and because the aluminium's thin it's going to deform to where the clamps are pressing it and hopefully that'll keep it in place the moment of truth has arisen Right, I'll just let that cool down and then we'll have a look at the outcome. Well I'm pleased with how that's turned out, so thanks to, thanks to my tutor in my apprentice days, Brian, for that tip. Uh, yeah, it's turned out pretty well. I've, I think what I'll do is paint all the background so it highlights it. Well, 
Okay then that's my name plates finished now, that's another one ticked off at least. I've just got a few uh, little bits and bobs to finish off now and uh, we're not far off complete then. So I'm going to sign off for now then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now.